Thank you. Um, okay, who's next here? David. David, you're next. So go ahead. Hello. <laughs> Hello. How are you today? I'm the good. Angel the angelic one. That's what I used to call you when I first uh, started to hear you talk. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Dad, uh, do you hear what he said? <laughs> And also, I want to thank Daphne, too, for all of her hard work and pulling all this stuff together. I mean, it's not just today, but I, I watched and listened to her. I used to be a patron of yours. And oh, I just I, I marvel at her instincts to be able to control all the things that she does. Oh, my. I do you, are, you are on the go. You are an on the go woman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is true. Um, um, there's a lot happening. <laughs> good, for, good for you. Um, I have, you know, I'm going to take a slightly different direction in my questioning. First of all, my birthday is 10, 28, 57. Okay. I just turned, I turned old man on uh, the 28th of last month. Uh, <laughs> that's what I say anyway, that's when you turn 65. But uh -huh. you know, there's something that's been bugging me, you know, for a, a good portion of my life. Uh, mm -hmm. And that is when I was real young, like maybe two or even less than that. I had an experience that I remember something in my room that oh. I could never, I could never put my finger on. I never could understand what that was all about. I have been to a world famous uh, 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 person, uh, Bernice Golden out of uh, New York, uh, who talked to me about that for a little bit. And, you know, I just don't know what that was all about. I've always felt like I'm a little different, a little yeah. just uh, I, I'm not not the same as everybody else. I don't follow the same paths. Yep. Uh, I operate. I, I use. I think clearly, um, I, and I operate independently. So, and I'm, I'm, you know, number one, what does this all have to do with me? And number two, um, are we going to make it as a race here? I know you've talked about this a lot, and I've listened to you Im immensely over the last probably 18 months. Every show you've done, everything you've done, and we'll a lot of times you don't really want to go down that road, but I, I don't. But you can't. Well, well, here's the thing. Um, let me go back to the two age two in the room. Um, when you are two years old and you remember that kind of experience, you typically are um, somebody coming in specifically to help with the transition to fourth dimensional systems, okay? That's, there are, and I've heard this, and also it happened to me as well. I was not quite two. But um, all of a sudden became aware that someone was in the room, several someones, um, and that stayed with me forever. I oh, never God. forgot that. Um, and I knew that there was something unusual happening and you try to fit in, of course, all that. But the, um, the fact of the matter is that when you come in as somebody to help with that transition, you will have people, OPs, ETs, that your people that will stay right with you every step of the way and will do that kind of thing, visit you at a very young age, usually causing a little bit of a shock. Um, and that then lets you know that you're not here alone, that there's a team behind you. Um, so be aware that that's not the first time I've heard that story. And I've also had that exact same personal experience. So, um, and, and when you are different and you think clearly and you see, it's hard, it's hard to watch. We right now are, I'm not sure that we will make it as a race. I think we will. Um, I'm not sure how many of us will make that transition <laughs> to fourth dimensional living. Um, I'm not sure how many will, um, yeah, will not make it. <laughs> I hate right. to talk about that kind of thing, but um, we are right on that razor's uh, edge right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and um, it's been a little bit challenging 
to realize that there's an awful lot of people here who don't see, don't get it, are very afraid. They're terrified. Um, I don't want them to be terrified. I want them to be excited about the possibilities. But their lives are so set up um, in one routine or set of routines that they don't feel like they're flexible. They don't know how flexible they are. We are incredibly flexible. But then that fear ends up coming in and they get all paralyzed with fear. And, you know, so we're going to see some changes here. Um, they're going to begin accelerating within the next 72 hours, I think. Um, and we're going to have some really serious choices that have to be made. Um, the goal is to keep moving in the direction that we want to go in without incurring, you know, the wrath of whatever. Right. Um, so that's where we're at. As a collective, that's, you know, I keep, I keep harping on, okay, guys, come on, expand your consciousness, uh, mature, grow up, think, see clearly, etc. cetera. Um, a lot of people are. I think we are further along than most people think we are. But I, um, the, we're at the test now. So that's, that's um, now we have to act. There's a lot of people who are awake. There's a lot of people seeing. They're going, ah, I don't know what to do. Um, there's people that are going to take action that it will make it possible for us to see what the next step is. And we just have to keep watching. Okay. And then the step after that will become clear. So that's where we're at. Well, I really appreciate it. And so much of what you just said uh, ranged <laughs> through my consciousness. Because I, I oftentimes ask myself, you know, are, are, are we going to make it? Uh, I have seen things that in outer space that I can't believe I've seen because I, I, have have I have a pair of military glasses and um, I, it, it's, it's extraordinary when you see stuff like that and you think to yourself, how can people not see what's I really know. going on? I know. Some of the fights going on up there are mind boggling. Oh, yeah. It's Some, incredible. Yeah. People, are, maybe they're better off not knowing, but <laughs> There's a huge <laughs> fight going no, on mm -hmm. for this sector. I have mentioned it a little bit. You know, this is an area of the galaxy that is very nice because we're kind of at the edge of the galaxy right. and it's a nice stopover point. And so there are, there are others, lots of others. Some of them are not so nice. You know, some are really high integrity beings and very powerful really powerful and so there's like they're like no nope, no you're not taking that planet over that isn't that solar system is not for you so here we are will you ever get the chance to go ahead and really release all the things that you know ah uh, i've thought about that daphne keeps poking at me <laughs> daphne keep going at her <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have just the other day, I thought I should probably write an autobiography of, you know, my life, the hidden side of it. Um, some of the places I've been and the things I people I've dealt with and um, the technology, the amazing artistry, the engineering, the, um, the beauty, the healing the, I mean, there's just so much. So well, I want to thank you very much for everything that you have done for people around the on, around this earth during this time. Well, I hope it's been helpful. <laughs> it has been helpful. There's a lot of people that know you. But I don't know if you realize mm. that. <laughs> I probably don't. I'm too busy here, you know, dealing with my farm and stuff like that. That's, you know, my ex-husband, we call and we chat every so often and and um, and he said to me, you know, you have no idea how many people know you That's or know right. about you. And I was like, oh, I can't deal with that right now. So, well, I'm going to continue to call you my angelic star seed. So, okay, <laughs> I appreciate that. All right, thank you, thank you. Take good care. Stay in touch. Okay, 
Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Very good. <laughs>